Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and Cardano has just released a new version of the Daedalus wallet for the Shelly network, which will allow us to redeem our testnet rewards. So let's get started. All right, so I launched my new Daedalus wallet and there's an update that's available. So I'm gonna just follow that link over to the Daedalus website and we'll download the latest version of the wallet. We'll drop it in our downloads folder. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that PGP signature next to it. First thing I'll do is run that SHA check on there. We'll just copy that into our clipboard. We'll go over to our SHA sum checker software. We'll browse over to that installer. We'll open it up. It'll generate that SHA sum for us. We're just gonna paste that one from the website that the developers provided to make sure it matches. And then we're also gonna go ahead and do our signature verification using Cleopatra. All right, you'll wanna make sure that you have a GPG for Windows installed if you're gonna do this. And you also wanna make sure that you have the IOHK signing key in your list of keys. Uh, there's instructions on how to do this right here. Uh, if you're curious about this, you're welcome to skip this step, but I always like to demo this for you guys. So I'm gonna hit decrypt verify. I'm gonna go over to downloads and open up that installer. And it's gonna run a cryptographic check on the installer file based on that PGP signature that they provided. Um, and you need the developer signing key in your list of keys for this to work. All right, and there we go. We got that nice green uh, box saying that we've got a good copy of the installer. All right, so let's get to work. All right, let's go ahead and uh, install that by double clicking. All right. uh, you'll need to quit this wallet first before you run that install, right? So let's go ahead and double click the installer. And we'll go ahead and open up the uh, Daedalus wallet. It'll connect to the Shelly mainnet. All right, and so the wallet has uh, opened up. And as you can see, the wallets need some time to sync up to the current state of the blockchain. Okay, so while my wallets are getting synced up to the blockchain, I'll just let you know that these are Shelly based wallets. Uh, they were converted from Byron wallets in my previous video. So if you haven't converted your previous Byron wallets or created new Shelly wallets, I'll direct you to that video. I'll put a link up in the corner. What I wanted to highlight today was uh, some of the new features that have been added recently. All right, so I see it over here. I was looking around in Restore for uh, restoring uh, the testnet wallet, but they've got another uh, feature here on the sidebar. Let's go over here. Uh, incentivized testnet rewards. If we participated in the incentivized testnet uh, or delegating, we need the wallet recovery phrase for the incentivized testnet wallet. And then uh, we can choose which wallet we want to deposit the funds in. So this is exciting. If you participated in the incentivized testnet, you created what was called a rewards wallet and you were given a 15 word recovery phrase, which is different than a 12 word recovery phrase of a normal uh, Byron wallet, right? So now we're here with Shelly. Shelly wallets have 24 word recovery phrases. Legacy Byron wallets have 12 word recovery phrases, but the incentivized testnet rewards wallets have 15 word recovery phrases. So if you didn't label your recovery phrases, look for one that's got 15 words in it, and that's the one you're gonna need here. So I'll go ahead and start typing mine in, and I'll just mention as I'm typing this in, you really only need to type the first four letters of the word. That's enough to differentiate it from any other words in the list. So you can type the first four letters and hit enter. It makes it easier. All right, and then they're asking for the password for your main wallet, not the testnet wallet. You don't need a password when you're uh, recovering, uh, but they are gonna charge some uh, fees out of the receiving wallet, which is kind of interesting. So they need the spending password of the wallet that you're depositing these testnet rewards in. 
All right, so I'm going to type that in. Uh, so it just goes without saying that you need to uh, have a wallet, a receiving wallet has to have a balance in it, right? You can't redeem the rewards into an empty wallet because there's no way to pay the transaction fees on that, right? So you'll want to have a Shelly wallet uh, initialized and have some Cardano ADA tokens in it uh, so that you can redeem these rewards. And there we go. Hey. So I successfully redeemed 1,265 ADA into my main wallet. Now I was uh, participating in the incentivized test net. Uh, I believe I had about uh, 20,000 or so uh, Cardano tokens uh, during the snapshot, which I was able to import into my uh, test net wallet. Right? So hopefully a lot of you out there uh, had even more at the time. All right, so I'm gonna click Open Wallet. And you can see there that I've received uh, 1,265 testnet rewards into my wallet. And now these are full-blown ADA now, right? They're no longer uh, test uh, tokens. By participating in the incentivized testnet, you actually earn real rewards in real ADA. So pretty darn cool. All right, looks like I've uh, synced up to the blockchain now. So we'll uh, watch that uh, transaction get uh, confirmed. So I don't know how long it's gonna take for uh, the transaction to uh, finally get confirmed in my wallet. Uh, might be kind of busy tonight. There are a lot of people out there probably uh, redeeming their rewards. So I'm just gonna go ahead and post the video so those of you with testnet wallets can see how it's done. So uh, if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.